Today's gonna be one of those videos. You wanna know what's absolutely crazy and completely mind boggling to me? It's the herd mentality that thinks that being a complete moron is cool. Look, I talk about avoiding negativity and staying out of other people's drama quite a bit because I sincerely believe that avoiding all of that crap as much as possible makes you a better person. And in fact, just last week I talked about some of this in the video and I'll link to that video down below. But today, I wanna to chat about something that makes avoiding all of that drama and avoiding that herd mentality extremely difficult, especially if you spend any amount of time on social media. Now, because YouTube and to some degree Instagram are part of how I'm able to pay my bills, I do spend a good amount of time on those two platforms. I also have a presence over on TikTok, but I really don't like that one that much, right? It just seems like the Wild West over there and the comments are next level disgusting. Way more worse than YouTube, which is saying something. But honestly, if I didn't feel like I needed to be on TikTok to help drive traffic back to YouTube, I don't think I'd be there at all. All right, but here's what happens. So because I make men's lifestyle videos and some relationship videos for men over 40, and because I use certain hashtags, the algorithm feeds me more things related to what I create and consume. And in some ways, that's awesome. But mostly the algorithm feeds us stuff that's designed to get us completely worked up to the point where we feel like we need to engage with that content, good or bad. And here's something else that I know all too well because I see it almost every day in my comment section, and I'm sure you've heard of this before. Hurt people hurt people. People that are hurting are pretty miserable, and they move through life making sure that other people feel miserable also. They literally will go out of their way to try to bring other people down to their level of misery, and it's 100% true. People that are happy and content simply don't do this because why bother? Now, I've got a lot more that I wanna to cover today, but I wanna take just a minute and introduce you to today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. If you're at a point in your life where you're finally done feeling miserable, and if you want something better for yourself, just listen for a minute. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you deal with all kinds of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable. Whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video, you can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. And what I love is that if your therapist, for whatever reason, maybe isn't the right fit, you can switch to new therapist at no additional charge. And because they're sponsoring this video, they're giving you 10% off your entire first month at betterhelp.com fashion. That's betterhelp.com fashion. It's also the first link down in the description or just scan the QR code on the screen because I, for one, want you to be happy. Thank you, BetterHelp, for your continued support of my channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, I was reading a couple studies online, and here's something else about unhappy and hurt people. So these guys are apparently lonely and depressed for the most part, and they're more likely to get negative and bitter very easily. They get triggered. They're also more likely to blame something else or someone else for their own situation. And a lot of these people are also more likely to post negative comments online to get that dopamine hit from all the negative banter back and forth with anonymous strangers. Now the men are more likely to blame women for not being interested in them. And these people are also more likely to believe in conspiracy theories and be anti-government. This is apparently 100% true. We're becoming a society of blaming others because a large chunk of society believes that their own situation or unhappiness isn't their fault. Life isn't about what happens to you. It's about how you respond to what happens to you. And I say this with experience because a lot of you guys already know this, but if you don't, just a few short years ago, I had like a hundred bucks in the bank and I was this close to being completely homeless. Now, could I blame my situation on someone else? Sure, did I? No. I got myself into that situation and I got myself out because I knew 
that's not where I was supposed to be. Now, even though I got pretty close, I never lost hope. And let me say something about all of this men versus women stuff that seems to be going on right now, because there's an awful lot of bitter men out there who place a lot of blame on women. And let me just say, for the record, there's nothing wrong with expressing interest. If you're interested in someone, there's nothing wrong with asking them out to lunch or asking them out for coffee. Society recently, and TikTok, has been trying to teach us that we shouldn't approach anyone out of fear that it might be misinterpreted as harassment or being creepy. And I believe that is complete BS. Here's how I move through life, and for the record, I'm doing pretty damn well socially. I create as many opportunities as possible to see people and to be around people and to socialize with people. Because think about it, the more people who know you're alive and know that you're a good, solid, positive dude, the better that is for you. Now, let me circle back to relationships for just a minute because thank God I'm in my early 50s. And you wanna know why? Because communicating with women or just people in general is way easier. And here's something else for the record. Older women say late 30s, 40s and beyond make it much more clear that they're interested in you. Younger women just don't make it quite as clear, but of course, yeah, some do, but most are just playing games. And I'm glad that I no longer see the world through the eyes of a 30 year old through a filter full of insecurities, and so should you. Let go of all the negativity and embrace your age and recognize the awareness that comes from being older and having confidence in who you are. At 30, you're still trying to figure out if you're okay, and you're questioning if other people think you're okay. With age comes wisdom and self-confidence, knowing that you are who you are, and what other people think doesn't matter. But even with that said, that doesn't give you a pass to be bitter towards other people just because they said something online that you don't agree with. Listen, because you already know this, we as men do better when we have something to look forward to, something something positive on the horizon. That's where I wanna go. That's where I wanna be. Now, I'm not always sure how I'm gonna get there, but it all starts with the very first step. I'm looking forward to getting there, and I hope to see you there. I welcome your comments, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. And I also invite you to watch this video right here on the screen. And with that, my friends, as always, thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.